is the support for example it is the support that means what that is the body support that is uh, the thoracic support here there is a muscle called pectoralis major so we take the support muscle support that is what pectoralis major and here only there is um, beneath the pectoralis major ribs are present because here only the sternum and all ribs are connect with the sternum at different levels so ribs are also we can draw like this these are the ribs and between the ribs there is intercostal muscles between the ribs what there is intercostal muscles like this muscles between the ribs this is not a memory gland we are taking some support to draw the memory gland that is uh, the supportive structures only now i am going to draw the memory gland structure okay so first uh, we can draw like this lower end of the memory gland for example it is the upper end so like this if it is the memory gland it is supported by what it is supported by the fat tissue so first i'll draw with uh, i'll draw the fat tissue like this it is the fat tissue it is present it, it covers that means uh, inside the fat tissue uh, glandular tissue is present so along the lining of the skin there is only the fat tissue so like this fat tissue is present around the glandular tissue so glandular tissue is present in fat tissue this is the fat next glandular tissue so for example if it is the glandular tissue the yellow color lining it is what glandular tissue for example what i am saying uh, what i was said the glandular tissue is divided into 15 to 20 lobes so here it is a lobe it is another lobe it is another lobe lobe so it is the lobe like this they divide into the lobes of course other lobes are also there but uh, it is a sectional view so we can observe only few lobes but there is 15 to 20 lobes are there and every lobe again divided into so many lobules so this is the lobule like this you can draw because it is very important uh, diagram you have to draw when you write in examinations about the memory glass you have to draw this memory gland so like this uh, they divide into many lobules okay you can continue with this so like this uh, we can draw the different lobes of the memory gland this is the memory lobe and if we open each and every lobule has so many cells they are called alveolar cells they secrete the milk and that milk is secreted by the alveolar cells they secrete by the alveolar cells and the secreted milk is stored in that sac so if it is uh, just imagine as it is the sac I just uh, uh, cut uh, the cluster of the cell that is alveoli we just cut the alveoli and I enlarged here so what you observe here so it is just like a sac like structure these are the alveolar cells these alveolar cells secrete the milk and that milk is collected in this sac okay in that cavity in the lumen of the alveoli the milk is collected and it is connected with the ductule it is connected to the memory tube it is connected to what memory tube so all the alveolar cells secrete the milk and that milk is stored in the lumen 
or the cavity when it is get stimulated that milk is transported into the memory tubule memory tubule so memory tubules are present or come from each and every lobe like this this is the memory tubules these are what memory tubules all memory tubules are memory tubules of the different uh, lobes memory tubules of some or together form memory duct they together form what memory duct so it is the memory duct which collect the tubes so it is the memory duct it is the memory duct so green color is the memory duct and memory duct opens into a wider ampulla this is what a wider ampulla memory ampulla it is memory duct memory duct collects the tubules from the different lobes so white color is the memory tubules memory tubules opens into the memory duct memory duct opens into the memory ampulla and every memory ampulla continues as every memory ampulla continues as lactiferous ducts every memory ampulla continues as what lactiferous duct like this the red color is the lactiferous duct the purple color is ampulla and the green color is what memory duct memory duct collects memory tubules which are in white color and memory tubules are from the memory lobules so like this lactiferous ducts are opens into the nipple so this is what the nipple and around the nipple actually nipple is also supported with the some uh, smooth muscles when it gets stimulated that smooth muscles helps in the erection of the nipple and every nipple has nearly 10 to 15 or 15 to 20 lactiferous ducts through which baby suck the milk from the mammary gland so this is the nipple around the nipple there is a, a dark shaded a purplish or reddish dark color uh, reddish uh, dark reddish brown color area is there that is called areola that is called areola and it is called nipple areola is the area of the mammary gland where there is no hair and this areola has some glands actually sebaceous glands are present in this area and that secrete some oily substance to protect uh, to protect the nipples and to protect uh, this areola area when uh, the baby suck the milk uh, they protect from the cracking uh, the cracking of the mammary glands are protected from this areola areola prevents the cracks okay and areola have some glands next inside there is a fat tissue which is in uh, white color this is the fat tissue and glandular tissue okay so this is what uh, lobes lobules and uh, tubules mammary tubules and memory duct and memory ducts are completed now ampulla memory ampulla and lactiferous duct so this is about a uh, memory gland okay so we completed the axillary glands also in next we will conduct a live session about uh, the entire female reproductive system organs and axillary glands uh, 
okay from the ncrt line to line reading session we will conduct then we will conduct uh, we will go for the spermatogenesis and oogenesis process later menstrual cycle like that we will go step by step we are going to complete this complete uh, reproduction and reproductive health chapter solves in a complete manner okay so this is about today's class thank you